And this pattern is called the bug-eyed bugger. I'm using a 210 denier thread, brown. The hook that I'm using is a number 810 Dairiki bass hook, size 2. First thing that I'm going to do is attach a yellow plume of marabou. I'm going to make about 5 or 6 wraps to secure it. Cut off the excess. And then I'm going to add a second marabou plume on top. And it's going to be brown. And I wrap this one pretty close to the eye of the hook. Then I use a copper brown brassy wire and attach that in. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some medium root beer estaz and attach it towards the front and I'm going to wrap it back and then I'm going to wrap it forward it builds up the body a little bit once you secure that you're going to tie in a yellow schlop and feather and a brown schlop and feather together And just wrap those back. You're going to grab that wire and then you're going to wrap over the top and bring it forward securing all those all that schlopping in place. Just twist off that wire and make sure that you uh, once you get the head secured that you cut off the two pieces of schlopping hanging out the back. Then you use an articulated shank from Flyman Fishing Company. And this is the smaller shank. You want to wrap all the way up to the bend of the connection point as close as you can. Then you attach that same wire that you did on the back hook. wrap forward and you just tie in another yellow and brown piece of schlopping. And the size of that hook shank is your 20 millimeter. Once you get that schlopping wrap back you just go ahead and pull the wire over the top like you did on the back hook wrap it through to secure it now I got about an eighth of an inch between the between the eye and where I stopped right there you're gonna be building up a head there don't forget to cut off the schloppen on that front shank now here you're gonna make a you're gonna get a two a set of rubber legs on each side I'm just using a, a barred golden brown tie those in now you're gonna make a, a dubbing loop And what I do here is I use a magnum rabbit strip in brown. And I'm gonna put the, the rabbit on the on the dubbing loop and just spin it. You wanna put it out evenly if you can. 
you want to pick away any excess uh, fibers. You just wrap that forward. You want to try to pull all those fibers back as you go. You're going to wrap that all the way up to the eye. And just make a little head in the front. You're going to whip finish it. Cut your thread off. You're using a, then I use a seven millimeter um, fish mask from Flyman Fishing Company, and I super glue all four points of the inside, and I just slide it over the front of the hook. Once you got everything placed the way you want it, you just uh, attach your thread back onto the front. Do a real quick whip finish. And then you're going to super glue the top piece and the bottom piece. You don't need a lot, just a drop will do you. And that's the big eyed bugger.